Now we come to Lesson 130 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 130. It is impossible to see two worlds. It is impossible to see two worlds. Perception is consistent. What you see reflects your thinking. And your thinking but reflects your choice of what you want to see. Your values are determiners of this. For what you value, you must want to see. Believing what you see is really there. No one can see a world his mind has not accorded value. And no one can fail to look upon what he believes he wants. Yet who can really hate and love at once? Who can desire what he does not want to have reality? And who can choose to see a world of which he is afraid? Fear must make blind, for this its weapon is. That which you fear to see, you cannot see. Love and perception thus go hand in hand, but fear obscures in darkness what is there. What then can fear project upon the world? What can be seen in darkness that is real? Truth is eclipsed by fear, and what remains is but imagined. Yet what can be real in blind imaginations of panic born? Yet what can be real in blind imaginings of panic born? Yet what can be real in blind imaginings of panic born? Or, yet what can be real in blind imaginings born of panic? Okay. Mm. Yet what can be real in blind imaginings of panic born? I can't read that sentence. You don't like that sentence? I don't understand the sentence and I don't have an inflection for it. Um, Is well, it okay? Do I need to start from the beginning? No, I don't think so. All right, let me do it again. Let me just do it again. Okay, yeah. I need you to relax. Okay. You're trying to help me. I just need you to let go. Yeah, okay. Yet what can be real in blind imaginings of panic born? What would you want that this is shown to you? What would you wish to keep in such a dream? Fear has made everything you think you see. All separation, all distinctions, and the multitude of differences you believe make up the world. They are not there. Love's enemy has made them up. Yet love can have no enemy. And so, they have no cause, no being, and no consequence. They can be valued, but remain unreal. They can be sought, but they cannot be found. Today we will not seek for them, nor waste this day in seeking what cannot be found. It is impossible to see two worlds which have no overlap of any kind. Seek for one, the other disappears. But one remains. They are the range of choice beyond which your decision cannot go. The real and the unreal are all there are to choose between, and nothing more than these. Today, we will attempt no compromise where none is possible. The world you see is proof you have already made a choice as all-embracing as its opposite. What we would learn today is more than just the lesson that you cannot see two worlds. It also teaches that the one you see is quite consistent from the point of view from which, from which you see it. It is all a piece because it stems from one emotion and reflects its source in everything you see. Six times today, 
in thanks and gratitude, we gladly give five minutes to the thought that ends all compromise and doubt and go beyond them all as one. We will not make a thousand meaningless distinctions, nor attempt to bring with us a little part of unreality as we devote our minds to finding only what is real. Begin your searching for the other world by asking for a strength beyond your own and recognizing what it is you seek. You do not want illusions. And you come to these five minutes emptying your hands of all the petty treasures of this world. You wait for God to help you as you say. It is impossible to see two worlds. Let me accept the strength God offers me and see no value in this world that I may find my freedom and deliverance. God will be there. For you have called upon the great unfailing power which will take this giant step with you in gratitude. Nor will you fail to see his thanks expressed in tangible perception and in truth. You will not doubt what you will look upon, for though it is perception, it is not the kind of seeing that your eyes alone have ever seen before. And you will know God's strength upheld you as you make this choice. Dismiss temptation easily today whenever it arises, merely by remembering the limits of your choice. The unreal or the real, the false or true, is what you see and only what you see. Perception is consistent with your choice and hell or heaven comes to you as one. Accept a little part of hell is real and you have damned your eyes and cursed your sight and what you will behold is hell indeed. Yet the release of heaven still remains within your range of choice to take the place of everything that hell would show to you. All you need say to any part of hell, whatever form it takes, is simply this. It is impossible to see two worlds. I seek my freedom and deliverance, and this is not a part of what I want. That's lesson 130. It is impossible to see two worlds. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.